So far, you have seen that we can use our views in select statements, just like our views. But we can also use them in insert, update, and delete statements, but only under certain circumstances. If the view doesn't have the distinct keyword and any aggregate functions like min, max, sum, whatever, group by, or having clauses, and these basically go together because most of the time when we use an aggregate function, we often have a group by clause as well. And finally, the union operator. So if we don't have any of this stuff in our view, then we refer to that view as an updatable view, which means we can update data through it. So we can use that view in insert, update, or delete statements. Let me show you. First, let's have a quick look at our invoices table. Here we have these two columns, invoice total and payment total, but we don't have a column for the balance. So every time we need to work with the balance, we have to calculate it. We have to subtract the payment total from the invoice total. Now we can create a view for our invoices table that includes the balance for each invoice. So let's create or replace a view called invoices with balance. Now here we need to write select. What columns do we have in the invoices table? Invoice ID, number, client. Let's add these. Invoice ID, number, client. ID. Next, we have invoice total and payment total. We need to add these as well. So invoice total and payment total. And finally, three more columns. Invoice date, due date, and payment date. Let's add these as well. Invoice date, due date, and finally, payment date. We select these from the invoices table. So we have selected all the columns in this table. Now we want to add an extra column here that is invoice total minus payment total and we call it balance now let's also apply a filter here and only return the invoices that do have a balance so balance should be greater than zero where invoice total minus payment total is greater than zero unfortunately here we cannot use the balance alias if we do this, MySQL is going to say there is no column called balance. So we'll have to rewrite this expression here. Okay. Now let's execute this statement. Beautiful. So we should have a new view. First, let's refresh this view. All right. Now under views, we have invoices with balance. So in this view, we have the invoice total, payment total, and the balance for each invoice. Beautiful. So here's the code for this view. Here, we're not using the distinct keyword. We are not using any aggregate functions or group by. Neither are we using the union operator. So this is an updatable view, and we can use it to modify our data. So I can open up a new query editor and delete from invoices with balance, where invoice ID equals to 1. So we can delete records from this view just like a regular table. Let's go ahead. Our invoice is deleted. Now back to this view. Let's refresh the result. We no longer have the invoice with ID 1. We can also update an invoice. So let's push the due date for invoice number 2 to two days after. Here we use update. We want to set the due date to two days after. How do we do this? In the last section, you learned that we can use the date add function to add a date part to a date time value. So here we pass the current due date, and then as the second argument, we write this expression, interval to day. Now with this, we can update the due date for invoice number two. Beautiful. So back to our view, currently the due date for this invoice is July 1st. When we refresh this view, it's going to be July 3rd. There you go. It's July 3rd. We can also insert a new invoice through this view, but this one is a little bit tricky because this will only work if the view has all the required columns in the underlying table. For example, if we didn't have this invoice date column in our view, we couldn't insert any rows through this view because our table cannot accept null values for the insert date column, okay? So to recap, most of the time we update data through our tables, but there are times that you may not have direct permission to a table for security reasons. So your only option is to modify data through a view. In those cases, you can use your views to insert, update, 
or delete data, assuming that your views are updatable. We'll look at security and permissions later in the course.